My name is John Albrigo. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Alexandria and Arlington, Virginia. Uh, I specialize in total hip and total knee replacements and have been doing so for many years. The question is often asked, when will I know that I need a hip replacement? And really it's a very personal uh, question, a very personal choice based on quality of life. Uh, arthritis, which is the fundamental condition that, that leads to uh, surgery such as a hip replacement. It can come on very insidiously. It may come on slowly over a long period of time. It could come on rapidly and, and surprise the patient in, in that as well. We know that we need hip replacement when our quality of life is affected to such a degree that we can no longer enjoy the things that we need to or want to do, such as going for walks, perhaps playing tennis, hiking, playing golf, and so on. And unfortunately, uh, some individuals have such severe pain in their hip that they have difficulty sleeping and are awakened at night just turning over in bed or can't even find a comfortable position. So it's a very uh, personal quality of life type of uh, decision as to when uh, a person needs a hip replacement. Once we determine that that's the only solution to the problem, hip replacement can be done today uh, relatively quickly. This is a uh, kind of a, a, modif a modified uh, hip of the original design. It's a porous coated femoral stem which is now modular and we apply to that a ceramic ball and the ceramic ball articulates with a high density medical grade polyethylene liner which matches the diameter of the ball and then the polyethylene liner is inserted inside a titanium metal shell which is also porous coated. So the bone grows into these components which are inserted in what's called a press fit technique. So there's no filler to bond the implant to the bone and we are performing what's called today minimally invasive hip replacement so that we can accomplish the task of surgery through a much smaller incision compared to years ago when the incisions were 12 inches or longer in length. The smaller incision has provided le us with a, uh, less pain after surgery and a quicker recovery. Patients go home either the same day or the, the next day after hip surgery unless they have special needs and uh, need a longer stay or perhaps uh, transition to a skilled nursing facility. But, 90% or more of our patients go home within 24 hours.